calling for a cycle of change. Food delivery riders and union reps marched through the city, fed up with poor working conditions. Science student Josh Kluger has seen many changes during three years as a rider. I joined when they were paying an hourly wage, but now it's just based per order. You could probably walk away with $24, $30, like probably like $8 an hour for a quiet night. He says there's a high potential for injury. There's cars and doors, sometimes pedestrians that aren't looking. Josh is echoing calls from the union for delivery companies to offer better pay and compensation for injuries. Of 160 food delivery riders surveyed, 26% work more than 40 hours a week, proving it's not just a part-time job. 45% say they or someone they know has been hurt on the job and 70% want better entitlements such as sick leave. In separate statements, Deliveroo, Foodora and Uber Eats all pointed to the flexibility of work as a key incentive for staff. The rates that are paid at the moment are largely incentive based, uh, sometimes with underpinning hourly rates, but no payments when work's not there whilst being on call. Amongst this crowd of protesters, there's only about a dozen people who work as food delivery riders, but the union insists there are many more who are unrepresented and fearful of losing their jobs if they speak out. Being uh, unionised and represented is a fundamental right and a fundamental necessity to actually exercise your rights. Kieran Jones, Nine News.